Welcome back. The Salvation Army is getting ready for their famed Red Kettle campaign. They're not going to let a pandemic get in the way of this important Christmas tradition. Our Kimberly Kravitz reports. That bell means Christmas is near, and the Salvation Army is on a special mission this year. So that's why we're here today, because um, we need to rescue Christmas. Rescuing Christmas for families that would be unable to celebrate if it weren't for the toys and food that the Salvation Army provides each year. Not that Christmas has ever been at risk itself, but the celebration of Christmas for many people, they won't be able to celebrate it if the Salvation Army doesn't provide toys or food for them. Speaker of the Assembly Craig Coughlin was there at the campaign to donate the very first drop in the bucket. Uh, that's something they do all the time in the, uh, in the middle of July and in, in April and in October and in December as well. So they're, they're somebody who really does do God's work. The speaker remembers back to fond memories of the red kettles from when he was a boy. When I was a, a little kid, which was a long time ago, uh, my mom, who, uh, who had grown up in Perth Amboy, would always take us to Smith Street before malls, uh, and we would go to Smith Street in Perth Amboy and shop. Uh, and one of the things that my sister and I always, always did, we put some coins in the, was in the, in the kettle. Since March, the Salvation Army New Jersey provided nearly 5 million meals. But since COVID hit, this means the need is even greater this holiday season. We have 450 families that we regularly give food to. Every month they come to us, they get food and provision from us. And we could easily double that number if we had the resources. So we need to raise $100,000 this Christmas in Perth Amboy. They, they're getting a later start than usual because of the COVID-19 concerns and they're probably going to struggle to meet their, their funding goal because they're going to, in likelihood, likelihood, there'll be less people out and about. But uh, that doesn't deter them from their mission. The organization is making it safer and simpler to donate. No longer do you need cash. Um, you can put cash in if you like, but with COVID, people are a little more hesitant. So what you can do is just put your phone up to the sign and it'll take you to where you need to go and you just make a donation online. SalvationArmyNJ.org, if you go straight there, you'll be able to donate. The community is enjoying any sign of normalcy. The sounds of Christmas music and, of course, the kettle and bells. Reporting from Perth Amboy for Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. All right, thank you, Kimberly. When we come back, my commentary on the COVID-19 vaccine and who should get credit.